Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for another episode of Thrift Scores. My name is Ronnie, I'm a part-time reseller, and I went to three different thrift stores on a beautiful Saturday afternoon in Kansas. Here's what I found. My first Tommy Bahama shirt that I found in the wild. This is 100% silk, has a very good sell-through rate. It was in the men's section, I was like, that is very tiny, and I put it on my body, and I felt like I was a sausage cracking at the seams. This is a lady shirt, and I also realized that because the buttons are on the other side. And also, <laughs> I'm just now realizing, look at the shimmer and shine on those buttons. So that's a Lady Tommy Bahama shirt. I didn't even know that was a thing, but uh, we'll see if we can get any value out of it. I paid $1 for this. Normally when I go to a thrift shop, I really like to find price tags, because in a lot of places it's kind of hard to know, like, are you charging me the short sleeve rate, or the jacket rate, or the hoodie rate? But this place, if you didn't find a tag, then it was only a dollar. And this one did not have a tag. It's a Callaway golf polo. Make that two Callaway golf polos. This one is white, so I was eyeballing the crap out of this one, making sure that it didn't have any stains, but it looked good to me. Duluth Trading Company gray turtleneck. These are American Eagle Extreme Flex men's pants. They're jogger style, so they got the cuff at the bottom. Paid $6 for those. It was the day of denim. I found a lot, a lot of denim, and that's really what I was searching for, and I think I found some pretty good stuff. These are Levi's 560. I just got done watching a YouTube video today about 560s and why these are the most popular Levi's on eBay, and the reason for that is that they're a more relaxed fit, which apparently is in vogue. I'm just now getting around to like the skinny jeans and wearing those myself. Not really like super skinny, but like somewhat skinny. And now we're, we're back to this. This is in style apparently, but these are these are 3430s and gosh, the legs just look humongous on them, don't they? Holy cow, but 560s have an incredibly good sell-through rate on eBay. The thing I didn't like about this shop is that they put marker on all of the clothing. Most of the time they did that on the tag in there, but like in this case, you can see they just put it right on the clothing. I don't like that. Another pair of 560s, this time in your classic blue denim. And another pair of 560s, blue denim. Uh, these were both $6. I don't think I said that on the last one. Found a pair of Carhartts as well. These are huge. These are 4830s. Paid $5 for them. I feel like I'm in like a Subway commercial. I used to be that big. Woohoo! Man, that is a lot of material. Holy cow. That's gonna be an expensive shipping proposition. Another pair of Carhartts, 44.34, paid $5 for those. So that was everything that I picked up at Independence. It was called Singleton Thrift Shop. This next round of purchases came from the New Life Thrift Store in Altamont, Kansas. First up, we've got a pair of American Eagle flexible men's jeans. I was thinking that I would want these because ever since I found that pair of Levi's women's black jeans that actually fit me and feel really good, I've been on the hunt for some black jeans. And apparently this is American Eagle's like competition equivalent to what Levi's is offering. But I tried these on and they just absolutely felt very uncomfortable. I was I was very exposed. I'll just I'll just say that. So all of their jeans were $3, that's what I paid for these. Pair of 569s, not as good as the 560s I guess, but better than like the 505s. The 505s are like the lowest tier. Those are the ones that you'll find in like Walmart and Costco and like other department stores apparently. These are lady jeans, size 12, I think they're Levi 545s. Yeah, there's a tag. Right cha, 545s. I told you guys wrong, that last round of stuff I picked up from the Parsons St. Vincent de Paul thrift store, and now this stuff is the stuff that I got at the Altamont New Life Thrift. I passed on this the last time I was there two weeks ago. It was $5, but they had it marked down to $250. It's a Microsoft Sidewinder controller. It has that kind of connection, which I don't know that any computer really does, but comps on this seem to be around the $20 range. They were doing a half off of jeans sale, but I only found one pair. I think they were kind of picked through at this point. Another pair of big boy Carhartts. And half price is $1.50 because normally their jeans are three bucks. Video games. Rayman on PlayStation. This was a quarter. Tonka Search and Rescue PC game, quarter. Pool Hustler for the PlayStation console. 
Tonka Raceway for the PC. And then two Championship Poker Xbox games. Bear with me, I'm taking you off of the tripod for this one. I'm walking backwards. It's very dangerous because my favorite find of the day was a personal item, and it is that beautiful thing. This television. Um, this was $5. I also picked up a selection of VHS movies. Recently, my friend Kelly gave me all of her old gaming systems. So I got a PlayStation, a Wii, a Nintendo 64, and I thought, how cool would it be to have a little setup in the basement of just like retro stuff? One, I could use this to kind of test stuff out and make sure that it works before listing it. But two, like yesterday, while I was listing a bunch of items, I just had a Goofy movie playing in the background. And that was so awesome. Normally I've got like music or a podcast going, but to have my favorite films right here, ready to go, sometimes our internet goes out, it happens. We've got a little retro spot that we can come to now and we can watch all of the best movies. And that's that's my plan. That's another thing that I really like doing about thrifting, of course, is the thrill of the hunt. I've talked about that before. I am now on the hunt for all of the best movies that are totally rewatchable, in my opinion, so that I can just have them on as background noise because I've seen them thousands of times. I don't need to sit there and watch every second, but while I'm down here, and I'm listing. I thought that would be something that would be really fun to have a little little retro place. I mean, we got to we got to give you a taste, right? VHS. Auto tracking. Previews, baby. When did you first see Dumbo fly? Mary Poppins work her magic charm. Or Snow White's kiss. Now these and many other classic Disney moments on video are all a part of the Disney Masterpiece Collection. Woo, nostalgia vibes! And also... Oh, like a wave of nostalgia. Love it. So another great day of thrifting. I spent $80, and this is the amount of money that I've listed all of those items for on my eBay store. You guys already know my favorite item of the day was that old school television. What do you think was the coolest item I picked up? What do you think is going to be the most valuable? Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.